So here's how you work out the formula of any ionic compound. If you have any single elements, first of all, what you can do is you can actually use the periodic table to work out the charge of each of the elements. So for example, for anything in group one, the charge would be one plus. Group two would be two plus. Group three would be three plus. Group four, you don't really come across. And group five, similar, you don't really come across it. You might come across it. If you do, it's a three minus. Group six is two minus and group seven is one minus. So for example, if you had lithium, which is here, it would be a charge of one plus. You don't really write ones, so you'll just keep it as Li plus. Aluminium is here, so that would be a charge of three plus. And let's try a negative one. If we had fluorine, which is up here, that would be F1 minus, but you don't write the one, so you just call that F minus. Sometimes you might have examples where you have more than one element involved. If that's the case, you can't use the periodic table. So these are ones you actually need to memorize. So here we have a list of a few that you might come across in your GCSEs. So first of all, we have hydroxide. That's a combination of oxygen and hydrogen. Formula for that is OH minus. Carbonate is CO3 and has a charge of two minus. Sulfate is SO4, also with a charge of two minus. Next, we have sulfide. Sulfide, you can actually find in the periodic table. Uh, that's uh, in group six because it comes under sulfur. So that's S2 minus. We just have that so that you don't get confused between sulfate and sulfide. Nitrate is one you need to memorize. That's NO3 minus, not to be confused with nitride, which is going to be in group five, which makes it actually N3 minus. Ammonium is the only positive one you'll come across in GCSE. This comes as NH4+, plus, not to be confused with ammonia, which is NH3 and doesn't have a charge. Ammonium is an ion, ammonia is a molecule. Zinc is under the transition metal section, so it doesn't come under any of the groups. So this is one you probably need to memorize as Zn2+. Plus. And for the last example, we have transition metals. So iron is a transition metal, and the thing with transition metals is they can form more than one type of charge. So what you can do is you can look at these Roman numerals in the brackets, and from that you can figure out what charge you'll have. So iron 2 would be Fe2+. And if you were to have iron 3, it would be Fe3+. So let's look at a couple of examples. So up here we have magnesium oxide. Magnesium is in group two, which is going to give us Mg2 plus. Oxygen is in group six, giving us O2 minus. So we do our method of swapping the numbers around, which gives us Mg2 O2. See, that's a ratio of two to two, which is the same as a ratio of one to one. So you can just simplify that to make it MgO. Our next example is potassium iodide. Potassium is in group one, so it has K plus, and iodine is in group seven, which gives us one minus. So these are both ones. So when you swap them around, it also gives us a ratio of one to one. So that gives us Ki. For magnesium fluoride, magnesium has a charge of Mg2 plus, fluorine has a charge of one minus, so swapping those around gives magnesium a one and fluorine a two, but we don't write one's chemical formulas. So we can just write MgF2. Now for aluminium oxide, aluminium is in group three. So that's Al3 plus. Oxygen is in group two, giving us two minus. Swapping those around gives us Al2O3. So those are all examples with elements. Let's try some with more than one element, which we can't use the periodic table for. So calcium is Ca2+. Plus. Hydroxide is one you have to memorize as OH1-, minus. so OH-. Minus. So if we swap those numbers around, the Ca gets a 1, the OH gets a 2. So you don't put a 2 here, like this, that would be wrong because that just tells us the H has a two. It's both the oxygen and 
the h that has a 2. So what we can write is actually a bracket around it with a 2 to show that both of them have two atoms. So the final formula, if we ignore the 1 and the Ca, is CaOH brackets 2. Sodium sulfate. Sodium is Na plus 1. Sulfate is another one you need to memorise as SO4 2 minus. Swapping those round gives us a 2 on the sodium, so that's Na2, and a 1 on the SO4, which we don't need to write, so we can write that as Na2 SO4 1. You don't need brackets this time because they all are times 1. And finally, we have lithium. So for lithium, Li is plus, carbonate is 2 minus, so the lithium gets the 2 and the carbonate gets the 1, which gives us Li2CO3.